Hey, what's going on, everybody? Cause I'm a Fury here, and I'm trying a little experiment today. I'm actually doing this from my iPhone. Um, so I'm home still right now, but I was testing something to actually minimize the process of having to do a whole complete rig setup to do just a simple video or two here and there. So um, when I'm home, I wanted to do more than just audio commentary. So here we go, trying this out to see how it works. And if it's successful, if it comes out looking good, um, maybe I'll use this every now and then. So let's get into this shit here. So clearly, a lot of people aren't talking about it. I see much people aren't talking about it on um, YouTube about um, Orlando Jones being fired from American Gods because of the portrayal that you come to find out he wrote mostly with um, the um, portrayal of Anansi or Mr. Nancy. And Mr. Anansi is very, very unapologetically black, even though he's portrayal of a god, Anansi, from Africa. And the new showrunner pretty much is Fremantle. And Fremantle is the British um, broadcasters um, production company that actually runs um, America's Got Talent, which has b been given that gave the boot to um, Mel B, Gabrielle Union, uh, and now Lando Jones. And nobody sees the pattern of that, but because the character is unapologetically black, he's angry, and his key line was, angry gets shit done. And now he's gone off of the set. And they say, oh, well, we moving in a different direction. This part here was it in the book, this, that, and the fourth. And I'm sitting here like I'm calling bullshit on this one. I'm truly calling bullshit on this one for the simple fact that they never over at AMC would say some shit like that to Norman Reedus. Think about that. And I watched The Walking Dead a lot. He's a character original to the show. Never stepped a day in the book. Never was added to the book at all. And they made it work. Which consensus comes back that a lot of people like watching the show because of Orlando Jones' portrayal. It's been a very powerful, very moving, very good audio portrayal as well. Very, he's a... He does very well at the role, and without trying to do copyright infringement here, you just got, I mean, maybe I'll work around it. If I could, I will add it to the end of this, move, of this video. Otherwise, you have to check it out for yourself. you find clips of it on YouTube. That's where I really found clips of it at, too. And I was like, when I saw this show, I was like, okay, it's, I see Ian McShane in it, and I'm like, oh, what, what's going on with this? This is like a more modern-day approach of it. But now that I have actual stars, maybe I, I won't sleep on this show, but he's definitely a reason why I would watch. And I like characters like this, but I find it funny that a lot of people will not talk about this, especially your, your most favorite um, anti-SJW, because you know why? He's a black character. And they are trying to shut you the hell up about it. This is why a lot of them were bitching and complaining about Watchmen. Because Watchmen actually portrayed realistic events that don't show white people in a positive light. Let's just keep it 100% honest right here. It, when it doesn't show white people in a great light or shines light on past atrocities, past incidents... They don't like it. They feel like this is too woke and SJW. And I'm like, what the fuck? And you already know how I feel about that. If you watch me enough on this channel, you already know about that. So anyway, it's crazy. Like I said, I was doing the test on this to see how it works. And hopefully it does work well. So um, it is what it is if it doesn't. Uh, we'll see how it goes from here with doing these videos. So anyway... Cause I'm Fury, I'm here. Ah, oh, boy, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs>
<laughs> and now I'm out. Peace. A story. Once upon a time, a man got fucked. That's the story of black people in America. <laughs> Shit. You all don't know you black yet. You think you just people. Let me be the first to tell you that you are all black. The moment these Dutch motherfuckers set foot here and decided they white, and you get to be black, and that's the nice name they call you, let me paint a picture of what's waiting for you on the shore. You arrive in America, land of opportunity, milk and honey, and guess what? You all get to be slaves, split up, sold off, and worked to death. The lucky ones get Sunday off to sleep and fuck and make more slaves and all for what? For cotton, indigo, for a fucking purple shirt. The only good news is the tobacco your grandkids are gonna farm for free. It's gonna give a shitload of these white motherfuckers cancer. And I ain't even started yet. A hundred years later, you are fucked. A hundred years after that, fucked. A hundred years after you get free, you still getting fucked out of job and shot at by police. You see what I'm saying? This guy gets it. I like him. He's getting angry. Angry is good. Angry gets 